we've checked our belt alignment. We've got known good alignment. We know that all of our spacing, we have the right insert in our pulley. Our alignment's correct. The next thing we want to do is take the red Loctite and you want to put red Loctite on all your splines on the main shaft and inside the clutch hub itself. What you want to do is, you know, don't, don't be afraid to put some Loctite in this thing. You got all the slots filled up. You can put some Loctite on your main shaft. Once it's all, all your Loctite in, all your grooves and everything, go ahead and install the, install the hub on. Once that's on, put a drop of Loctite on your clutch hub nut. Now, you're going to notice that this clutch hub nut doesn't have a seal in it. And I'm going to get into the reason that it doesn't have a seal in it is because here at BDL, we've come up with a, with a new uh, sealing way of uh, sealing the oil inside the main shaft and so it's not going to come out into your clutch pack. Torque all this in place. This is 70 foot pounds and uh, torque your clutch hub nut at 70 foot pounds. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is take your belt, bring your belt up, start to insert right up on the splines, pull your belt in place and it'll shove right on and you'll see that your belt falls right in place. A drop of Loctite on the front engine nut. Go ahead and run the nut up. We're going to run the clutch hub nut up. Okay, we've got them run up. Now, torque, your, torque the nuts to the torque specifications. Our clutch hub spins freely. I want to tell you that there is no replacement. Nothing but red Loctite goes on the splines. We've had builders that are recommending that we use anti-seas, um, assembly lube, something that makes the hub easier to go on. That hub, as you've seen in the video, it goes on nice and easy. You don't have to pound it on. It doesn't have to be hammered in place. And so everything that you put it on other than a Harley Davidson, you may have a little bit of a problem if it's an aftermarket uh, Taiwan transmission or, um, you know, uh, an aftermarket, one brand of transmission, one brand of motor, a different brand of a frame, you're going to have alignment problems and stuff like that. That is, we can't build that into every belt drive. That's why we, we build these parts for replacement parts on a Harley Davidson. If you're using, using these parts on an aftermarket special construction bike and everything else, you need to do your homework and make sure that all these parts that you're going to use have the same application as a stock Harley Davidson and you're not going to have the problem, you know, some of the tech line uh, problems that, you know, questions that we got coming in on the tech line and we find out that they have a Taiwan transmission and they're wondering why our belt drive doesn't fit when the same manufacturer builds their own belt drives and they don't even fit on their own transmission. So we make all of our stuff, like I said, to Harley Davidson tolerances and all their clearances. So I, I can't emphasize enough, only use red Loctite and wait for this Loctite to go off before you start riding a bike or it's not going to do any good to put the Loctite in there. You, you need to put it in there, let the Loctite go off, and then you can go on riding your bike.